All right, what I have here is, uh, is footage from the Mavic 3, shot in D-Log on ISO 400. Being that on D-Log, you cannot go any lower than 400, which I would love to, but you cannot go lower than 400. And uh, it's shot on 24 FPS at 50 of a seconds, of seconds. And uh, it looks pretty flat. I, I think it's a little bit much, it's much flatter than the, than the Mavic Air 2 SD Log. Plus it has to give a little bit more information, I, I'm guessing a little bit more latitude than the, than the Mavic Air 2S. Okay, and uh, this was shot on F, at F4, from what I'm seeing. Okay, but you still can't get no real depth of field in there because it's 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 a wide wide lens. It's gonna you know, it's pretty wide. All right. So while I'm editing this, I'm gonna be using my mouse here and there, but mostly I'm gonna be using the Tangent CP300. So you might not see my mouse move. I'm gonna be clicking on the area that I'm at so you can actually see where I'm at. All right. So at this point right now, I'm over at the lift. I'm gonna click on the lift here so you can see it. I want to bring down my lift a little bit. Okay, the reason I'm doing this, I want to see if I can actually match this camera to my like to my Red Dragon or even something like the Sony A7S3 or a GH5S. Let's see if, how this will hold up. The truth is, the GH, GH5S is it's the same size sensors. But this Mavic seems pretty clean, though. I don't. Maybe it has a little bit of sharpening going on inside. It looks pretty clean. And the image looks pretty sharp as well. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Okay. If you look on the wave here, I got um, got the image spread out a little bit on the scope, on the parade scope here a little bit. Okay. This is the before, this is the after. If you look on the, on the, on the screen that's on this side here, you want to see the difference? This is, this is the before, this is the after. I'm going to add another node here. Okay, let's add a serial node. Okay, mind you, I'm, I'm still using uh, the, you, the controller here, so you might not see my mouse move, okay? But I'm here. And I'm gonna raise the saturation a little bit just to give it a little bit more color. Let's see what that looks like. Let's play it. Okay. Yeah, looks okay from now. I'm gonna punch up the sky a little. Uh, let me punch up some more colors on there. I'm gonna add another serial node. I'm gonna add some more colors here. Let's go here. Add more output to the colors, actually. I'm gonna bring that down, of course. It's a little bit too much. Where is this thing? Being that I'm using one screen, I think I lost some of my screen. There it is. The key output. I'm gonna control the key output and bring it down a little bit and bring down the key. That's the key input. I'm gonna bring down the key output a little bit, just control that color a little bit more. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Okay, as you can see the colors all over the place at this moment. It looks pretty sharp though. Let's compare it. This is what it looks like. This is what we started off with. This is what I end up with at this moment. It's a little bit too much colors there though. Okay, I'm gonna bring this output down a little bit. I'm gonna bring it all the way down. Bring the, bring, bring the input down, bring the gain down a little bit. Okay. Okay, let's see.
I like this a little bit more blue on the on the on the sky. Okay. All right. For the sky, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can create a power window for the sky. Let's add a serial node here. I want to uh, clean out from there and uh, add a uh, a layer node. Let me clean this up a bit. Clean up my nodes. Wow, this. I need to be able to see it. Okay, let's bring this up. This is crazy. Okay. I don't know why I look like this. It's not looking good. Right. I need this to be cleaned up a bit. There we go. Alright. I'm gonna select the sky here. that up a little bit just to see add a little bit more blue to it to see what what I'm gonna get out of it so if you see I'm pushing the blue up a little bit okay there we go so I can actually see if you see like the, the blues going up okay I'm gonna see if I could play with the colors here Give it a different move. Okay, let's go back to this. I gotta protect this actually. understand what I'm doing. Okay, we are actually on this note here, okay? So, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring down the sky a little bit. It's a bit bright. I just want more blue on there. Let's see what that looks like. This is not a, a um, anything to show you how to color grade this is me trying to see how much latitude i could get with this image you can edit your image however you like but i want to see how much latitude before the image start breaking down and so far it looks fine so whoever's editing with this with this mavic i think you still you can still use it as a b cam here and there even even if I'm, I mean, I normally shoot with a Red Dragon 6K camera, but this image, I should be able to match this up to a, it may not have the same, like the raw quality of a Red Dragon, but um, you still should be able to match it colors for colors if you, you know, if you shoot your footage properly and you know what you're doing. Not that I'm the greatest at it, but uh, if you know what you're doing, you should be able to match up some of this image here with most cameras. I don't see why you couldn't. Okay, let's go here. Okay, bring out a little bit of contrast. Okay. This looks terrible, but this is just to see how far I can push the image before it starts breaking up pretty bad. Ah, uh, you see a lot of purples here, that's just the colors. I need to fix that right there. A bit 
of blues there. So much of this is still see some bad color in there. Concerned with the sky, I got a little bit of purple here. I do think the filters might have an, have an effect on the actual footage because it does have a little French colors popping out here and there. Let's fix that. Come up here. can compare from the way from where I started and here and this. so as you can see the image can be manipulated a little bit you know I think you can you should be able to match this camera to much most, most cameras but nevertheless it's still a small sensor camera so you are limited to what you can do with it okay I don't think you're gonna get that much more from ProRes. ProRes have a little bit more information, but it's still, still, still not raw. You know what I'm saying? It's still not a raw footage you get it. So this is just as good for me as I can see. All right, bye bye.